What's that? I'm back at it again with another video, you say? Yeah, you got some silverware, but really, are you eating no? Yeah. Are you eating no? Nigga? Hey guys, it's me. And today I thought I suggest some vegan yums for you guys. Some of my favorite vegan foods that I eat. Mmm, they're mm, so good. Yes. Let's go. Okay, first thing I suggest is these. They are so delicious, dairy-free, coconut milk, non-dairy frozen desserts. Minis. See that? Look at that. Look at that. These I just got, actually. My grandma just bought them for me, like, this week. They come, they look like this. Look at that. Mm, mm, mm. I don't really need to eat one, but, oh, you know, I'm about to. Mm. Looks like this. And these are ice cream, obviously, and with the chocolate vegan coating, everything in this is vegan. It's vegan. Non-dairy. There's no milk in this ever, anywhere. Mmm. Mmm. I missed ice cream so much. It's so much better than regular ice cream, because mine is the animal cruelty. Mmm. Mmm. These are so good. I'm gonna finish this. I'm gonna finish this real quick. Second thing that I really enjoy is enriched aloe. Looks like this. Look at it. Look at it. It is pomegranate and cranberry. I haven't tried this one yet, but it's made with real aloe vera and it has like these little pulp pieces in it that I just, oh my god, I just love it. I don't know. I At first when I tried it, I didn't like the little like pulp that was in it like the texture of it which was like the grossest thing but when i drink these oh my god they're just the, they're just the greatest thing ever they're just like it's kind of like i don't know they're like refreshing yes that's the way they're refreshing and i suggest if you are a vegan like me try this even if you're not vegan you don't need to be vegan to try this or the ice cream if you are not vegan and or you're thinking about being vegan but you're like don't want to leave the ice cream behind try this it tastes like ice cream minus the cruelty mm, i have chocolate in my mouth next things are mm. my favorite i have to thank my my best friend alex who he, he used to be vegan he's vegetarian now so he knows all about the vegan stuff and he told me about These have been life since I found out about them. They're spicy sweet chili Doritos. Now, these may not seem like they're vegan, but they are 100% vegan. Like if you read the ingredients, unlike the regular kind, the nacho cheese or the ranch one, these, are, oh my God, I think they're way better than the nacho cheese one and way better than the ranch ones. They have like a spicy, sweet kind of kick to them and i don't know there's just like there's like the kind of the best one and i ate i had two bags of these i ate a whole bag of one day i'm so proud of myself okay now some more foods i have here is jiff natural peanut butter now this is just like it's peanut butter it's regular peanut butter but it's low sodium so if you're vegan like me, like you need well if you're just like a if you don't want too much salt in your diet, it doesn't mean if you're vegan. I just I suggest natural. Natural diff. And it has seven grams of pro protein in it. Ooh. The low sodium is what really like really, really makes me happy in it. Yeah. It's non GMO and gluten free, so next thing is this. Now if you can't read that, it you know what that says? Ooh, popcorn. Now, before I became vegan, I ate popcorn religiously. Every single day, I eat three bags of popcorn. That's not healthy at all, but like, that's what I did. I don't know what to tell you. And now, my grandma found vegan popcorn, and this is just what it is. So, it's Orville Red and Batcher's Natural. This one's a lime and salt, but you can get regular ones. I like the lime one. It tastes, it kind of smells like Fruit Loops actually when you pop it and because of the lime and then you smell it, you just like, 
What is, is that Fruit Loops? It's not. It's what's this? This one. Tis a frozen one. This is if you can't read it, a burrito. Now it's a burrito. Non-dairy. It's made with organic beans and rice. Now this one put a little hot sauce on it. Mm, it's the best. It does take a while to make, like 50 to 55 minutes, but it's so worth it because it's, oh God, it's so good. I love burritos, and this burrito is probably like my favorite. It's non dairy for us vegans out there. Uh, oh, and no GMOs. So, yeah. This one's also a frozen one. It is Smart Dogs, meatless veggie hot dogs. These are actually very, very good. Mm. I can eat about like three of these at a time. <laughs> yeah, and they're certified vegan. So, certified vegan. Look at that. Look at it. So, yeah, hot, these hot dogs are really, really good. I could eat about like all of them, but I'm not gonna. So, yeah. And that is the end of the video. I hope you guys liked it. There's way more food that I have in my refrigerator I could show you, but then this video went too long and then nobody will watch it. <laughs> but that's okay, because I would make a part two to it, probably not. <sighs> I just need to, I'm just gonna sit down now and eat some popcorn, watch a movie. Yeah. So if you guys want to try any of these foods, I will leave links, not links, the names of the food, <laughs> links, yeah, I'll link all the foods, Twitters down in the, <laughs> I'll put every name of the food down in the description so you guys can like, ooh, look them up or whatever, but most of the food here just found in Walmart, in the like, the vegan section, um, yeah, yeah, so if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up or don't, that's cool also, and I'll see you guys later. Song. Hey, what's the move? Can I tell the truth? If I was doing this for you, then I have nothing left to prove.